Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, just a quick one to let you know that if you do get stuck when you're trying to install Windows 11 on your new computer, and for some reason you don't have internet connectivity, or perhaps you just don't have access to your Microsoft login details to create your new Microsoft account, then there is a pretty simple way of bypassing it, so you can then go in later and add your Microsoft account if you wish to later, and also you can potentially download the internet drivers or use the motherboard's built-in feature to kind of automatically get that software for you. Anyway, so this is gonna be for people that don't have internet access and need to get past a certain point in the Windows installation. So to explain it a little bit better, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. So when we get to this point, you'll say, is this the right country or region? So choose your region as appropriate and also your keyboard layout. And also, if you want to add a secondary layout, you can do. I'm going to skip that. And at this point, it's going to ask you to connect to a network. But obviously, that's the problem we're having anyway. So what we're going to need to do is to press the Shift key and F10. And this will bring up the command dialog box. So to make this the forward-facing app, just click somewhere in the window just to bring it forward. And now we want to type in a very simple command. So just type in start, then a space, then ms dash cxh then the colons and then local only so this is telling microsoft that you want to create a local account so when you're ready press enter actually as well i should mention if you don't get the command prompt up you may need to press the function key on your keyboard and also shift f10 depending on your keyboard type and layout when you're ready press enter and now it's going to say create a user for this pc so username i'm just going to call it mike and um, Generally, you have to add a password. It doesn't let you go past this now. So I'm going to say Mike as well. And click Next. Now, at this point, it's going to actually ask you for additional things. So there's loads of extra fields saying that this field is required. So you go through the security questions, and you can put in some answers. And once you've answered those questions, you can then go past and it will carry on the rest of the installation. So not quite as easy as it used to be. And this is using the latest version of the Windows 11 installer as of the 24th of June, 2025. So if you've watched previous videos and found out that the local only version doesn't work, you do basically have to go through a few more hoops. So there you go, Microsoft are catching up and uh, trying to clamp down on these Windows 11 accounts. Personally, I think, it's probably better just to use a Microsoft account, but you may not want to do that. The choice normally would be up to you, but it seems to be getting harder and harder. So hopefully this method will last a little bit longer. Again, a few more little hoops to go through, but certainly it's potentially better than having a dedicated Microsoft account, especially if you don't have the details to hand or you don't have internet access, which potentially could be the problem you're facing. Anyway, hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content of this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also that chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.